Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. I came across a couple of articles recently in the media talking about how LinkedIn had added these new filters uh, to make it easier to identify remote work, hybrid work, and in-office work opportunities. Now, you have been able to search for remote work on LinkedIn for a while, and some people were commenting saying, oh, this isn't actually new, but to the best of my knowledge, the hybrid operator is definitely new. So uh, you can go more detailed in your search and I just want to show today how to actually do that within LinkedIn. Okay, so in order to find jobs on LinkedIn, firstly, I'm gonna start by clicking on the uh, jobs button here. Then we're gonna see, uh, it says here, remote opportunities because you expressed interest in remote work um, and just some automatically recommended jobs have popped up for me. Now, if I click on see more jobs, then it's going to take me to the main job finding navigation as such. Now this is where um, I can actually specify what I'm looking for. You can see it's defaulted to my profile geography, but I can also change that to worldwide. So let's actually go ahead and do that first thing. I'm going to go for worldwide. Now some people don't know there's actually a worldwide operator. That's the first thing. And let's throw in marketing. Okay, now we have three and a almost three and a half million results. So that's pretty crazy. Now let's say because I'm based in Israel, um, I'm not gonna be able to do a marketing job in Singapore unless it's a rem fully remote job. So uh, these are the options I have currently. Now I can jump down. There's always been, until recently there was just a remote operator. Um, and now there's this on-site slash remote. You can see these three operators here. So there's on-site, remote, or hybrid. So realistically, um, if it's not based on my local geography, I'm gonna have to do fully remote. So therefore, I'm gonna click on the remote. And now we're gonna take that 3.5 million, and we've got it down all the way to 187,000. So as you can see, that's really whittled down the, uh, the pool of possibility. One thing I would say about looking for remote jobs uh, through LinkedIn is that they're often mislabeled so for instance let's say this one it says Canada and then remote in brackets so as far as I know that typically means that it's only open to Canadian applicants and you can often see if you scroll down here they'll say uh, you know candidates have to be based in the US or Canada hashtag US hashtag Canada let's just actually go into this one here uh, actually this one doesn't appear to have a any geographical uh, limitation at the moment now, this is just from quickly glancing at it so you do have to be you're definitely going to find here uh if this is poland remote so go down through it and then see exactly where it's open to location tagging us eu so they're always updating things i don't know if this is a linkedin feature or something that the company i think is just one here that the company's added uh let's just keep going i find a couple more Seattle, Washington remote. Um, and you can see here, this position is not eligible for employment in the following states. So that suggests to me that it's probably US only excluding these states. Uh, and you'll often find, you can see vaccination requirement US. So uh, just because it's labeled as a remote job doesn't mean it's a globally accessible remote job. And that's actually been uh, kind of my biggest criticism of the remote job market at the moment is that if you're not based in the US, uh, you're at kind of a disadvantage because you're excluded from a boatload of opportunity. This is another uh, US job by the looks of it to me. This one here, you can see work location. So this one has come up in the remote filter and yet it appears to me, well, I'll just say or remote. So, um, so, but you will find ones that are just mislabeled. So be aware of that as well. Here's an Australian one. And again, just jumping very quickly through the job description, must be US based. So again, uh, just because it's remote so it, it's not i wouldn't say that th this filter is very much far from perfect uh because you know there would ideally in my opinion if linkedin ever were to hear this video there would ideally be something like a worldwide remote international feature or internationally accessible remote uh, features that basically filter on the fully remote op opportunities and then filter those according to where the candidates can be based in because if you're not based in the us clearly all these American only remote opportunities are not very useful to you. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe for more updates from me.